Welcome to the Nginx official tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to install Nginx on the CentOS and Red Hat operating systems. Uh, the CentOS and Red Hat operating systems are virtually identical. Uh, CentOS is the community version of Red Hat. In this video, we'll actually be using the CentOS 7.4 operating system as the example. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you want to install Nginx is to go to nginx.org and from there you're going to click on the download button on the right hand menu. There you'll be taken to our download page where you can browse through the change log of Nginx versions and what we're going to do is scroll down to the pre-built packages section. And there are three main options for installing Nginx. Our recommended method is the mainline branch. With the mainline branch, you always have the latest code, and new versions with features and enhancements are launched every four to six weeks. The second option is the stable branch. If you want a branch that doesn't change very often and is updated only with critical issues and security vulnerabilities, then the stable branch is a good option for you. The third option not listed here is to use third-party builds, such as those provided by OS vendors or third parties. We typically don't recommend you use those because in a lot of cases they're running fairly old versions of Nginx. So you're missing out on the latest code features and most importantly, security patches. I'm gonna go ahead and click on mainline here. And that'll take us to the instructions page for how to install packages from our mainline repo. On this page, you'll see instructions not just for CentOS and Red Hat, but also Debian, Ubuntu as well as SUSE Linux. The instructions for Red Hat and CentOS are listed at the top. And the first step is to create a file called slash etsy slash yum.repos.d slash nginx.repo and paste in the contents here that I've just highlighted into that file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and move over to my CentOS machine. And I'm gonna open up that file And I'm going to go ahead and paste in those contents. And there's some changes that need to be made. The first is that we need to change OS here to our actual OS. And the two choices are RHEL or RHEL and CentOS. And since we're using CentOS, I'm going to change OS to CentOS. The next is to change the OS release here to the actual version of the operating system that we're using. And we support both version 6 and 7 as of the recording of this video. Since we're using 7.4 of CentOS, I'm going to put a 7 here. And the next step is, of course, to save the file. And I'm going to do a yum update. And that's going to go ahead and update and pull down the list of packages from our repo. And after that finishes, we do a yum install nginx. And we're just gonna go ahead and click yes and it's gonna download nginx along with the latest dependencies and install it onto the system. We can verify that the install went through correctly by doing an nginx minus v. And then if we do a ps minus ef ref nginx to see if the process is running, we'll see that it's not running by default. So the thing, what we're going to need to do is use system control to enable Nginx to run. So we do system control enable Nginx and then system control start Nginx. So doing those will start Nginx right now as well as ensure that Nginx is started on the next reboot. So now I can run my PS command again and see that Nginx is running. The next step is to enable port 80 on the firewall. And of course, if you're using port 443 or other ports, you'll want to enable those ports. Uh, so we're gonna do a firewall dash command and we're gonna set it to permanent. And we're gonna add port 80 slash TCP. and minus zone, we're gonna move it to the public zone. And 
Ooh, we got a typo there, I have two Zs. So I'm just gonna correct that. And that puts the rule into our firewall. And then we can do firewall dash command minus minus reload to restart the firewall with the latest rules. And now we should be able to see the welcome to Nginx page in our browser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy my IP address here of my machine and go over here and click enter. And I see the welcome to Nginx page and that's how we know that the Nginx has been installed properly on the operating system. And that concludes this tutorial on how to install Nginx on the CentOS and Red Hat operating systems.